welcome again to AA Home Gardening. Thanks to all my subscribers and anyone new that's viewing. Welcome, guys. This is my Sprouse Sprout. This is the first year I'm actually having size of a sprout. Look there, guys. So that's my Sprouse Sprout, and I have another one over here that I'm going to harvest today, guys. I let some of them went overboard and then when they leave them too long, they literally just open up like that and you don't get your spots to sprout. So this is like Marmite, guys. I either like it or you don't like it. But I would say it all have to do with the cook. Because as I said in previous videos, the first time I tried it, I told myself I will never ever eat these things again. Nice, it's like really, really nice. So I'm just some of them are bigger than some you know these i say is good for gut um gut health it's helped to prevent um cancer in the stomach and things like that it's good for diabetic it have low cholesterol guys it's so good the lower your cholesterol is on everything and basically just take the big ones so i'm gonna leave like the tiny ones like that i'll leave it for another day these bigger ones like this over here i'm just gonna twist them off guys and then I'm going to have some Sprouse Sprouts for dinner. Look at the size of these things, guys, growing in my garden. Can you believe that? So I'm going to just go around. I'm going to harvest some of these. And then I saw I have a, a red cabbage here to harvest as well. So yes, we're in the heart of autumn. There's still things I'm harvesting from my garden, guys. I've been so busy. I haven't kept it properly. You can see. You need weeding up and everything. And then I have those caterpillars that they must lay the egg earlier in the year. And then they come into caterpillar and eating off the leaves. You can see the state at the top of it, guys. But as long as I can get my sprout, then I'm okay. So you just twist, twist it like that. So remember not to leave it on too, too long because they just open up. And then they don't get it, just like that one there. You just open up and you don't get it supposed to sprout. So just go through. I'm going to harvest these beauties. And I'm going to show the end product, guys. So yes, I have loads of supposed to sprout. And I have these that are ready. And then I have some tiny ones that's forming over there. And some not ready yet, guys. So let me know how do you like your Sprouse Sprout or do you like it? What were some of your experience with this unique veg? Because loads of people don't like it, guys. But now I love my Sprouse Sprout. Oh, it's so hard to twist. So I just twist them off, guys. Twist off the big fat ones. And then I'm going to make it for dinner today. So there it is. I'm going to twist them all off. So that's my Sprouse Sprout, guys. So all of these lovely autumn winter vegetable is so nice when the temperature have changed and lots of things in the garden have died off that it still can come and harvest these things in your garden. So I need to get a container so I can harvest these beauties. And then I'm going to show you all this process sprout that I harvest from my little section in my garden, guys. So let me know if you like this veg. Tell me how you prepare it. So I don't know about how to treat the leaves, guys, because the process sprouts were still in tuck. So you can see, you can even see one of those nasties in there. I need to go and kill him. So yes, I didn't know about how to treat it or anything because the process sprout was okay. But I just have to make sure. I don't leave it as long as these so they open up and then I lose my espresso sprout. So I go through now and harvest these and I show you the end product. This is my harvest. Espresso sprout guys. I think it's one of the best things in the brassicas family. I love my espresso sprout guys. And for me to say I love espresso sprout after years of eating it. So I have some good size there. Medium size just like the ones I get in the shop guys. And these are all organic grown in my own backyard i'm so proud every year is a struggle with the pests with my espresso sprout so this year this is my first harvest and i have some tinier ones that's still fatting up and i have some plants that i haven't harvested from yet so guys remember so this is like marmite you may like it or you don't like it but before you say you don't like it 
do try and cook it yourself because sometimes when they get it from others they don't know how to make it nice guys so get it yourself try it yourself you can just cook it like cabbage you can just slice it in the middle like that you know you saute your onions the garlic your tomatoes you had your basil the parsley your oregano you know spice up your thing then you just slice it put it on the fire and then you just like steam it over before having it before you add any water or anything just cover it over because they're quite tender you know do your thing and spice it up and tell me come back and tell me if you like it after not liking it like myself so until next time guys keep gardening take care now and a beautiful autumn day in the garden still harvesting so until next time take care now bye bye like share subscribe and click the notification bell